drink. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello. A while. It hasn't been that long. Two weeks? Three weeks? Two weeks? I don't know. We kind of lost track during all of, during the conference and then the election. It was a hot mess. Right. But today is Wednesday. It's been, I think, uh, 12 days. Something 12. like that. Okay. Or 11 days or something like that. I have no idea. I know we it's been some amount of time. I lost track. Yeah. Okay. So last time we um, um, went somewhere and killed a boss of some sort. <laughs> Epically, uh, the last second. Oh somewhere. yeah, that was crazy. And we slightly cheated. Minor cheating. Um, but that's okay. It's only minor cheating. It's a game. We play to have fun. <laughs> all the hardcore gamers are like this right <laughs> I mean all the like so we have two viewers <laughs> one of them is you <laughs> um yeah no i mean it, you know you play the my stance is always like what matters most is that whoever is playing is enjoying what they're doing mm -hmm. and with that little bit of cheating bending of the rules with a little bit of um um adapting to the situation yes adapting that, to the situation <laughs> we greatly increased our enjoyment of the game we did because otherwise we were gonna have to play that whole scenario again and that was gonna make me so sad Right, exactly. <laughs> I think it's totally legit. It's totally fine. And it's not like mm -hmm. it's not like we're playing in a competitive like tournament or anything like that where cheating would actually matter. Yeah, I was actually gonna say we're not playing tournament gloomhaven. <laughs> That'd be interesting though. Tournament gloomhaven. Um, I feel like that would take a year. Very long time. I don't know how that would play out. Well, maybe when the computer version is done, there actually could be like comparison of efficiency you know through mission yeah. that um, would be interesting okay we're gonna do a city event um or do we need to buy anything do you want to buy anything i don't think i have any money let me see oh yeah i don't I think have, I, have have... I have 14 bucks i have five whole gold okay so never mind yeah I don't have any money. Event. Draw a card. Which is sad because I've heard that this character plays better when you've got enhancements, and enhancements are like at minimum 50 gold or something insane like that. Let me see. Hey, did this app get updated to not include information from the cards? I guess. I don't. That's it says weird. read event number 70. Oh, that's sad. That is sad. Uh, hold on a sec. I have to get the event deck. Yeah, at minimum, I would have to spend like 30 gold to get any enhancements. And the best enhancements are like 100 to 150 gold plus extras, plus fees. This game has fees. OK, event number 70. Where's the number on these things? Oh, uh, I see at the bottom. OK. Oh, shit. That's a pain in the ass, because I shuffled this at one point. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I don't think I I don't think I shuffled mine. Let me look and see if I can get mine. <laughs> <laughs> I f I found it. Okay. Yeah, mine don't appear to be shuffled. Okay. That's hilarious. <laughs> um All right. Well, I did find it though, so I'll just 
I guess I'll just read it. This is, this is like, I was projecting on the computer and everything so I could prevent having to take my glasses off and on. Okay, city event number 70. You are wandering the sinking market looking for possible work when you are approached by a dirty looking boy with a scar on his cheek. Why are we looking for work? <laughs> Don't we have enough on our plate? We're mercs. I guess so, but we're like, we're in the middle of like trying to figure out what the hell's going on with the city. Okay, you greet him warmly. He has given you leads on a number of mercenary jobs and you recently helped him avoid a jail cell. I need some help and I really don't know who else to turn to, he begins. All of us here in the sinking market are in a bad way. Our houses are collapsing, our water is foul, and we don't even have enough money for food. We're dying here, and the city is doing nothing to help us. You have friends in high places, right? Please, there's gotta be something you can talk to. Someone you can talk to. That was the wrong voice for this little kid. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking that, but I wasn't gonna say it. <laughs> Option A, talk to some merchants about revitalizing the area. I mean, the kid maybe had a really rough life and that was his cig cigarette voice. <laughs> like Tom Waits. Right, a really young, a teenager Tom Waits. <laughs> Option B, regretfully explain that you don't have a, you don't have the power to affect change like this. I mean, of course we have power to affect change. We're heroes. Yeah. Plus, I'm like You're a paladin. <laughs> yeah, you are like a paladin. We should totally be talking to the merchants. Okay, so option A, is our reputation greater than nine? I think so, but let me double check. Our reputation is 16. All right. So you head to the coin district and meet with a member of the merchants guild you've had dealings with before. He looks at you skeptically, but says he will see what he can do about making the area more livable. Gain one prosperity. Sweet. Yeah, that was worth it. That was totally worth it. How many check marks do we need to get to the next level of prosperity? Let me look. I don't know. Oh, we still have two more to get to level four, it looks like. Yeah, sad. Okay, a road event. Yeah, it looks like they got rid of the text from the cards in this app. That's sad. Road event number eight. Um, Did you shuffle? Uh, yes. Okay, I, I've got eight. Okay. Ah, okay, I'll read it. Oh man, my eyes are getting bad too. We look young, but we have old eyes. <laughs> All right, uh, you see a lone man walking toward you on the road. As you begin on the path, he turns to you and begins to speak. Oi there, I wouldn't suppose you lot might spare me some coin, he asks. A lot of coin, actually. <laughs> You look at him quizzically as he continues. You see, I lead a lot of thieves and bandits in this area. We gotta make sure all the mouths are fed. At this, a large number of bandits come out of hiding around you, emerging from the bushes. So about that coin, the man says with a smile, five gold per head ought to do it. Option A, pay the thieves. Option B, resist the robbery, killing as many thieves as you can. I mean, I'm poor, so I only have just enough to pay them. Maybe this is. I feel like I believe in like righteousness. You're a paladin. A paladin would not. A paladin would smite the thieves just. Yeah. Smiting's sake. Unfair. Okay. So we're gonna go with option B, resisting the robbery. Yeah, but we're gonna get. Ooh. <laughs> Unfazed by the ambush, you draw your weapons and attack the bandits in the bushes. The leader tries to withdraw, but you cut him down as well. There are a lot of bandits, but they don't put up too much of a fight. They seem weak and malnourished. You guess the leader wasn't kidding about needing to buy food. I'll start the scenario with three damage. Three damage? Okay. Three damage. Wait, but, uh, okay. Is that, that's not a scenario effect, is it? No, that doesn't count as a scenario effect. 
that's a we did mighty things on the road effect. Okay. Um, we still have our money. Do you have anything important happening on the local level for your elections? We had a bunch of um, stuff from the, the, our county charter changed, but it was all things like, it was all things that the people who, so like there was one about the fire chief and that he should have a, those are upside down. Okay, um, that he should have a degree and we were like, I don't know about that. Like, that sounds like maybe, you know, somebody who has a lot of experience should still be able to do it. And then we found out that it was the fire chief that was suggesting that. And we were like, oh, well, never mind then. <laughs> like, so he was saying he himself should have a degree? Yeah, that was basically what he was saying. So we were like, all right, I agree with the fire chief then. <laughs> like, if he's the one saying it. Okay. Yep. So, and he was saying it because like, because the degree signifies certain things that you have like discipline and you know how to do teamwork or something and you know how to think logically. Like, is that, that the reasoning? I don't know. It didn't actually have anything about the reasoning, it, but once uh, it, it was just, I mean, it's the fire chief, not a firefighter. So I guess it was, it has to do with like, probably like learning management skills and things like that. I don't have any idea. This is the one I'm picking, by the way. Here you have it. Okay, and this is the one I'm picking. I think it's doable. I think mine is only halfway doable. The other one was worse, though. Um, you want yeah, to read? A lot of bad guys for the first room. Um, I'll do the voices. You do the reading. OK. You climb the frozen peaks of the Copperneck Mountains, lamenting that every location Hale has sent you is in the most unforgiving, inhospitable place possible. This is That's true. Hale. <laughs> <laughs> As you near the base of the mountain you seek, one of the tallest in the range, you look up at the larger of the two peaks. The massive spire is hopelessly daunting, and there is no way to scale it directly. Luckily, the mountain's secondary peak has a much more gradual incline. You begin your ascent, hoping that it will be easier to cross over to the main peak once you get higher. As you near the secondary summit, after trekking around the mountain and through the snow, you catch a glimpse of a narrow bridge joining the two peaks. It looks treacherous with a sheer drop to an icy death on the other side. Still, it is better than nothing. Unfortunately, you find yourself not alone as you move on to the bridge. Uh, figures in, the, in dark cloaks and demons made of ice wait for you across the divide. A voice booms out, oh my gosh. A voice booms out over the howling wind. You are not welcome here, mortals. All that awaits you is the embrace of death. You ready your weapons. You can hardly see through the blizzard, but you are determined to make sure death embraces someone else. <laughs> I have three curse cards. But that's a scenario effect, so we don't need to do that. Okay. At the start of every round, move the ice elemental token to the strong column. Move the fire elemental token to the inert column. Okay. And we can't destroy the pits. Okay. I didn't know we could destroy obstacles, so. <laughs> Can we destroy obstacles? I didn't think we could, but I guess. You can, we... in, you can in Jaws of the Lion. The op but, but each scenario tells you how many hit points each obstacle has, I think. It says it is possible for certain character abilities to create or move obstacles. Hmm. I guess we can't move them. I don't know. I don't know. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. So these things, what are these things? They're traps of some sort. They are immobilize and damage. Okay. So immobilize and three damage. And we've got like basically most of what's going on is going on in this first area. Uh huh. Okay, where do you want to start? Um, I don't know the, there. Wait, doesn't matter there. Where do you want to start? Andrew, first off, I was trying to remember which one my character was. <laughs> <laughs> Yours is the one with the hammer. <laughs> Mine is the one with the spec. But these five. I'm going to start in the indented looking hex. Okay. I'm going to start behind you to the your right. Okay. Yes. It's hard because I look at my screen and I'm like flipped mirrored and but yours is so m my setup matches yours as long as I just look at yours, but if I look at mine then it's confusing. <laughs> <laughs> um okay. Uh, All right, we are on scenario thirty nine. Okay. Um, cave bears. Yep, cave bears indeed. Oh, I, sh I need to populate these guys. Uh, number two, number four, two. Drakes. We've got a, a whole bunch of guys here. Yep. Oops, this is not right. Okay, so the bears um, have nine hit points each. Their base move and attack are both three. The frost demon is an elite. It's got retaliate two. Move and attack of three. The cultist um, is also an elite. Move attack of two, nine hit points. The Drake, two Drakes, um, range of three. Hopefully, we can take out the bears before the other guys close in. Yeah. Well, at least there's only one set that's ranged. Yeah.
Mark is picking cards. I already picked my cards. All right, I have 18. I have 92. <laughs> yep, that's cool. Thank you. Okay, the cultist moves first. He's going to move, attack, and explode on death. He's going to move. No one's in range. That's it. The bears, Jesus Christ, are moving four and then attacking me, I guess. So this guy goes one, two, and this guy goes one, two, and they both attack me um, at two each. First guy draws a negative one. I get one damage. Second guy draws a plus zero, so I get two damage. I'm now at 10. And then my turn. This is not an auspicious beginning. <laughs> no. And this thing is useless now. It's a healing. Hmm. These are different characters now. I hate when that happens. What? When you plan something and then it's not going to work. You hate when that happens? Yes. Why do you hate when that happens? Because it's no fun. Um, if I shield myself, does it last until the start of my next turn or does it just last until the end of this turn? Um, I think it ends and it ends at the end of your next turn, I think. I think, I don't know, it might just be until the end of this round. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Um, well, let's see what else is going to happen here. The drakes are going to move four, attack range three. So like one, two. They're not going to get in range. Three, four, yeah. OK. Although are they, they're flying, so they can move over the pits. So this guy's going to be end up here, but still have range three and won't be able to reach me. Um, Okay, I'm just going to, I'm just going to, hmm. I will holy strike uh, this guy. Okay. For two points and a stun. So this guy's stunned. Oh, if I hit him. Minus one. So for one point and stun. Which one is it? The one on your right? Yeah. And then um, I think I'm done. <laughs> I might as well shield myself up. I'll shield myself up until the end of the round. And I'm going to use this immediately. What? Roll five. Oh. Your your mega health potion. Yeah, so I'm I'm back up to fifteen. Cool. Okay, the two drakes move. Uh, this guy moves four. One, two, three, four, right there. This guy moves four. Can people end up in these spaces or not? I think yes, but if his flying stops, then he falls in. Okay. So he'll he's gonna be like hovering above this space here. Yeah, I think as long as he doesn't stop flying, which I don't think he can stop flying, so. Okay. Then the ice guy is gonna move two. The and these um these rocks uh are impassable, right? Yes, I think so. Yeah, they're op they count as obstacles. They're like the they're like the pit. Okay, so he goes one two like that. Okay. Oh, and causes a um, 
a frost symbol. Okay. Oh, and we were supposed to have put a, the start of every round. Okay, so there was already a frost. Okay. Well, he just makes another frost appear. Okay. Um, I mean, he, I don't know, makes sure it's there. Um, and now it's your turn. All right. I am summoning a thorn shooter right next to me. Um, and then I have this new card that lets me tell two summoned allies within range two to perform an attack with me controlling the actions. Does that mean I get to do him twice since I've since it's two summoned allies, or does that imply it has to be two different summoned allies? I think it implies it has to be two different. Sad. Okay, so then I make him shoot this guy once for two and poison plus zero, so two and poisoned, the same guy that you hit before. And two, and he's now poisoned. Okay. And that goes in. My cards are a hot mess today. And I get one more. And that is my turn. Okay. So the bears, one's at six and one's at nine. The one who's at six is poisoned and stunned. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've got 23. I have 25. All right, the cultist is going to move first. Move one, attack one. That's same thing as last time. Um, I'm going to hit this bear that we've been wailing on. For four. Plus one for poison. For five. Plus one for the card. That's six. He's dead. He is dead. Well done. And then um, cause a uh, sun icon. Cool. Uh, and then I guess I'll move right here. <laughs> I'll take this loot. Okay. Maybe like that's in it. One, two. Oh, yeah, I would have been in range of the drakes anyways. Okay, yeah, that's where I move. And now it's your turn. Okay. So first, oh, first this guy goes. Um, he's going to shoot this bear for two and poison. For one and poison. So now that bear is down to eight and he is also poisoned. And then... I am healing myself for three. And then I am controlling that guy again. Um, and he doesn't move because he's in range. And, but he attacks for two and poison again. So, ooh. He, he does a wound thingy. And then I get to pull again. Oh, but he whiffs. So, yeah. 
That was a waste of a second one. He, he does not wound him. <laughs> does he wound him? No, because he whiffed. Mm. Sadly. The wound only counts if you don't whiff? I think that is the case. It's like added to the added to the attack. Yep. Okay. Now that bear goes. He's got a movement of three. He doesn't need to move. He's just gonna attack me. Um attack two. Plus zero. Two points of damage. Hmm? How many targets? He might move because he might try to target both of us. You think he does? Yeah, I guess you're right. He moves in between us. Well he hits me, but he hits me for two. Okay. And he hits you for one. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. And then the ice guy is going to move two. One, two. And the drakes are going to move two, attack four, range three. Ouchie. Okay. So this guy first, I guess. Okay. Um, only needs to move one. Tax me. Oh, I should draw a card. Uh, minus one, so it hits me for three. The other guy moves forward one, draws a times two. Oh. <laughs> hits me for eight. Jeez. So I am at two hit points. Woo wee! Wow. Wait, That's... instead of hitting me for eight, I think I'm going to lose a card. Okay. Wow. That sucks. Okay. Whew. Uh all right, next turn. Yeah. Hmm. Should I, should we just keep moving on this bear? Or should I move forward and try to engage with one of these guys? Because they're just shooting me. Um, how many hit points does the bear have? Eight. Um, yeah, why don't you go try to deal with those drakes that are shooting you? Um, I think that me and my thorn shooter can probably defeat this bear. Okay. I have 29. I have 13. Okay, you first. Okay. Um, so first my guy shoots the bear for two and poison. Oh, I guess three because he's poisoned and continued times two. So hits him for six. Yep. And then I am going to hit the bear for three plus zero. So he dead. Yay. Um, yeah. Dead bear. And then I'm going to move. 
I was going to move all over the place, but I'm just going to go onto this loot and take that loot. And that is my turn. Okay. Um, the cultist moves two, one, two, I guess. And then it's my turn. I'm going to move one, two, three to here. Okay. And then attack him for five plus advantage. I use up the sun. Okay. Um, five either plus one or plus zero. So five plus one is six. Um, so dead. Dead. Yeah. Number three. Um, and then I also gain an XP for that. Oh. Um. Now it's the frost demon. Moves to attack three, so I guess here moves two. Mm -hmm. You're not in range of us to attack us. Yeah, and either hold on one, two, three, one, two, three. He's the same distance either way. Yeah, so he'll be there. It'll be easier for us to. <laughs> I don't do it or whatever. Yeah. Uh, the Drake has a range of one this time, and so he's going to move closer to me. Um, like that, I think, just one space. Or do we want him to move here or here? Um. With a range of one, though, isn't that like just right next to you? Yeah, but he can do, he's got this, uh, he's going to hit um, seven hexes. Okay, and poison. And he can just but... target this and then do a, that whole Oh, thing. I see. Yep. Uh-huh. I don't think it matters which one he goes to. I don't. I guess the question is, do we have any AOE that we want to target both of those guys with? I don't, I, actually. I don't have AOE anymore. Yeah, it really doesn't matter. I let's put him there because he's next to a trap, and I might be able to push him or something like that. Okay. That makes um, okay, so he goes there. He does his crazy AOE on me and poisons me. Assuming assuming he hits, uh, it's a plus one. So he does hit me for two points, and I get poison. Out of here. Uh, great. Okay. Next turn. Oh, I've got to, I keep forgetting to shuffle. These guys suck. <laughs> mm, can your vine move? And mine what? Can your vine or whatever it is. Yeah, it can move. It just hasn't needed to. So that's why it's still sitting there in the corner. How far can it move? One. And what's its range? Four. So, oh, so it'll get in range. Mm-hmm. Because if not, I can run back so that they are forced to come closer to us, you know? Um, I mean, I wouldn't mind that because I am not within range to do stuff. But okay. I could always... I could always summon something else, but I'm sort of trying to wait on the summoning because that's a loss card, you know? So I'm yeah. trying to, like... I'm trying to be calmer about my summoning instead of summoning every other turn. <laughs> okay, I have 23. I have 82. All right, I go first. Um, yeah, so the Drakes are going to range three this time. So um, 
They're gonna, he's gonna hit two of us. That sucks. I mean, I'm at close to full health, so I'll be okay. The question is whether you will be okay. Mm -hmm. Poisoned and stuff. This character seems to take a lot more damage than your previous one did. Like, I feel like you're always almost dead. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> Is there a way? Let's see. If I move here, the Drake's just going to move here and target both of us. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's unavoidable. Um, okay. This thing that I was going to do is just completely useless now because it's going to poison. Um, I was going to try to get rid of my poison is what I was going to do. Oh. Um, and it's going to poison you again. Yeah. But if you get rid of your poison, then its attack isn't higher. Right. That's true. Um, Might be worth it? I don't know. Might be worth it. Might be worth it. It might be worth actually burning a card now. I could do that. What are these other guys going to do? This frost team is going to move attack range to um, use a blue thing. Which there's a blue thing again, so. Yeah, so he's going to have range three and attack of five. <gasps> Ouch, that guy's. That guy's going to be in business. Um, so he's going to move two, a range of three. One, two, one, two, three. Oh, we're going to be in range of him, too. Stupid frost demon. Mm, and then the other guy is going to summon a living bone. Oh, did I even grab those guys out? Oh, I did. Um, Stupid bones. Yeah, this one is serious. <laughs> well, you remember, we lost that other one super quickly, so. Yeah, okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move five. One, two, three. I guess I'll just move three. And uh, burn this card to stun the ice demon. Okay. Um, And then I cause a sun symbol to appear, and I get an uh, experience point. And then my other action is going to, I'm going to shield myself up and get another experience point. OK. So right now I have one shield. Um, OK. Yeah. And now this, this guy can't move. You're out of range. Okay. So he attacks me at disadvantage, poisons me again. Yeah, he attacks me at disadvantage. So he gets a plus zero or a plus two. So it's a plus zero, um, but then plus one because I'm poisoned already. Okay. So it's an attack of four. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I have four hit points. The uh, Frost Demon is not going to do anything except lose his stun thing. And now the Cultist is going to summon a Living Bones. A regular Living Bones, right? Yeah. Stupid Living Bones. Which one? Right here. And then the Cultist is going to take two damage, it looked like. Okay. What's the living bones doing? Well, they don't do anything on the turn they're summoned. Oh, that's true. I guess that's true. Okay. And now it's your turn. All right. My guy moves forward one and he shoots the Drake for two and poison. Still for two and poison. So the Drake is now. Poisoned. Take that, dude. 
And then I am fairly useless this turn. I'm gonna move up. Heal me, heal me. I don't have that ability right this second. <laughs> I'm gonna move up one and attack the air, but then I'm gonna use my stamina potion, and get some stuff back out of my discard pile for next turn. Okay. Next round. I've got um, oh, 32. I have 51. Okay, me first. Um, yeah, this Drake's serious business. Uh, I'm going to attack the Drake with an attack of five. Uh, one. So Drake's dead. Dead. Cool. And, um, I'm gonna move so that I'm not in range anymore. Move, I guess I'll just move two. Is this guy gonna move? Oh, he is gonna move. He's gonna move two. So he will be in range. One, two. Hmm. Well, he's gonna hit me anyway, so I guess I'm gonna go on to this loop. Okay. Wait, maybe these guys. What are these guys gonna do? No, they're gonna heal and all that stuff. Yeah, I'm just gonna move one over to the loop. Okay. Two over to this loop. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. The cultist uh, moves one, I guess, here. Yeah, I guess. Attacks the air, heals himself for one. Ooh. Now it's your turn. Okay. My guy moves up one. Shoots at this ice guy for two plus poison for three plus poison. So that guy, one, two, oops, one, two, three, and poisoned. Um, and then I am, shoot, I keep messing this up. Oh, because I know why I messed it up, because I thought that that Drake guy was still going to be there. Okay, so um, then I'm going to control this guy's actions one more time and have him attack for a second time for three now, because that guy's already poisoned, minus one, so two, and continue to be poisoned. So he's now down to five. Okay. And I'm going to move... Over one, two, over to like the side. Yeah, just like that. And Can you move right next to me. I have certain abilities that give adjacent allies things. Where was I? Right there. Yes, I can move next to you. One, two. Yep. Okay. And then I'm gonna need to either do a long rest or a short rest right now. Same here. I think we should probably do a short rest. <laughs> <laughs> There's all these dudes right here, and they're all big and vicious, probably. Well, yeah. unless, you're, unless your guy can take out that demon. Um, he... He can... I don't think he can take him all the way out, but he can do some more damage. Yeah, we should probably... I'm going to do a short rest, even though I do need healing desperately. Yeah.
Yeah, I, I'll do a short rest, but I'm just really nervous about losing a card that I need because I don't have a very big deck anymore, you know? Mm -hmm. All right, there goes my healing, but that's okay. Okay. Hmm. I think I need to charge in and attack him, huh? Um, with my help, my guy might be able to defeat the ice guy on this turn. Hold on, what is what does the rest of this look like? Five, oh, next round. Eight and five. Yeah, I can defeat either the ice guy. Nope, I can defeat the ice guy this round. Because my but that's the only thing that my vine can hit is the ice guy. Boy, I uh, lost my healing cards. Yeah, I lost my healing card too. So I have no way of healing myself. None at all? None at all. Okay. So I guess we have to, what's your, you're at four right now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Uh. And I have a poison. So you can't get hit. I can be at two. I can be at two and then make it so that I didn't just lose that card. I don't know. <laughs> You're gonna like need to take a long rest. <laughs> gonna have to do a long rest yeah like multiple long rests maybe yeah just like lie down for a while <laughs> i never thought about that we could totally be doing stuff like that to protect our decks no every time you do a long rest though you lose a card oh that's true if there's nothing in the discard pile though you don't you can't lose a card hmm <laughs> I think I'm going down to two hit points so I can not, so I can lose a different card than the card that I lost. Okay. You really can't get hit now though. Like legit cannot get hit. Oh, can I put this card aside so I don't draw it again? <laughs> I think so. Yeah. You pick from what's left. Okay. That's fine. I can lose that card. How many cards are you down to, though? You've lost a bunch of cards already. I lost one to prevent an eight damage thing. I have four. I have eight right now. OK. You have a big deck then, huh? Yeah, I have 11 to start off with. I only have nine. And they're all like lost cards, all of them. There's no spammable, not a lot of spamming going on. <laughs> Okay, I have 18. I have 55. Um, what was that? 55. 55? Five, 55, five? Five, five, yep. Okay. It's going to be me, then the uh, Frosty is going to shield, him, shield himself up. Mm. But not attack. Okay. How big is his shield? Two. Ah. Okay. But he's poisoned still, so. Yeah. The cult is going to move and attack. Won't be within range. The bone's going to attack and not move, so that's fine. Okay. I'm going to heal myself for three. For zero, I'm just going to take the poison away. Okay. That's sucky. Oops. Uh, and cause a sun symbol to appear. 
Okay. And then I'm gonna move, I guess. I'll move here and grab the loot and then shield myself up for one one shield. And the shield, okay. Mm -hmm. And and now it's the frosty one's turn. He's gonna shield himself for two. And move, but move, he's not. Wait, doesn't need to move, right? Yeah. And then the cultist is going to move too, like here, I guess. And attack the air, and now it's your turn. Okay. So my guy moves up one because that's convenient. And he attacks the frost demon for three because he's poisoned. Plus one, four, minus two for two. And then I am going to make him move up one more so he's like right behind you so that he can finally start shooting at these other guys. And then I am attacking the frost demon for three and immobilize, except for he's still poisoned. So four and immobilize, minus one, three. Two, one. one. But he's immobilized now. So he's down to two points and he's immobilized. Okay. Then the living bone's going to attack the air for three. I don't want to attack the frost even because he's got retaliate. <laughs> I, well, I'm all ranged, so I can probably get him on this turn. I would have got him on that turn if he didn't have a shield. Mm hmm Man, we are still <laughs> in the beginning of this. <laughs> and then we got to go shooting way over here. It'll be fine. We'll totally make it work. Nope. Oh, I keep forgetting to do that. Okay, this might be really dumb. <laughs> Isn't that how we normally start our most epic turns, though? <laughs> this might be the worst idea ever. <laughs> yeah, but okay, so I only have two hit points. So either I run away. Which you can do. Or I try to stun something or something. Well, he's he's immobilized until the end of this, until I immobilized him this past turn and he'd already taken his turn. So he's now immobilized for this turn. So if you run away, he can't, he doesn't have range usually. So. Yeah, that's true. I'm gonna do this, I think, and then. Do you have any cards in your discard? I have two cards in my discard. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna do this guy. I guess I have twenty-nine. I have 51. You have 100. I do not have 100. 100. <laughs> she is so helpful. 
Okay, I am gonna move. Uh, I guess like here. I mean, he he can't move at all. Oh, the skeleton's gonna move three. One, two, three. The cultist is not gonna move, but it's gonna summon a living bones. But I only need to move one in order to dodge this guy. So I'll move here, actually, to be next to both of you. OK. Um, and then I'm going to grant one ally with a range three may, may move four. Do either of you want to move? <laughs> I mean, I guess. But I don't know where. Well, we could have backed up. I could have gone one, two. And then I can grant you to move, like, you know, if you want to back up. I don't know if I need to back up, but uh, sure, I'll just, like, move back one. Hold on, where's the skeleton going to end up? One, two, three? Yeah. Okay, no, we're good. Wait. One, two, three. Yep. All right, I just moved back one, just... Okay, like that? Yeah, like that. Okay, that was not as cool as I thought it would be, actually. I wanted to use that, but I couldn't. <laughs> it happens. Uh, yep. Okay, so the Frost Demon is going to try to move, can't attack the air, and then he's not immobilized anymore. The Living Bone is going to move three. One, two, three to here, and like attack the air. And it's your turn. Okay. So first, my dude shoots at the at the um, frost demon again for two and poison plus one, three and poison. So he is, and four really. Um, so he's dead. Hey. Um, and then. I am not in range anymore. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have moved back because I would be in range of the skeleton guy if I hadn't moved back. Oh. Oh well. I thought you calculated that. I calculated from the frost demon. I didn't calculate from where the, I was trying to make sure that my guy was going to be in range because if he wasn't, then I was going to move him. But. No, oh, I see. Um, okay, so then my, Vine guy is going to shoot the uh, bones and poison. Um, so plus one, so three and poisoned to the living bones. Okay, he has shield one. Okay, two and poisoned to the living bones. And Then I'm going to move around to the other side of my guy. One, two. Okay. My turn. Okay. The, the cultist is going to summon another living bones. <sighs> cultist. I remember now why we don't like cultists. He's going to take two damage. Where is he? And the living bones. This is much more manageable, though. I mean, two living bones, cultists, we can do this. Yeah, but we, <laughs> still two to get, we still need to get way over here, though, too, so that we can kill the. Out of sight, out of mind. Okay. <laughs> and we've got to get. We've got to get this treasure chest, which May is convinced is poisoned. So. Just be aware. <laughs> okay. What was my thing anyways? Um, okay.
this is sucky. Um, all right, we no longer have sun symbol. Yeah, we don't. Unless I magically made one, I did not. I can make one. I'll make one this turn, probably. I can make dark ones, and I can make wind or fire. But that's it. Dark, wind, or fire. OK, I've got 23, I guess. OK, I have 82. The living bones are going to attack plus or for a zero, but move four. Oh, they target two. Oh. Move two and attack two. At least the cultists can't hit us. I can kill one of them this turn, probably. If I did that, then the, the bone's going to come to me and the cultist is not going to be in range. I guess that's probably OK. So I'm going to go here. OK. Heck. And attack this guy for four. OK. And I whiffed. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> if I whiffed, then does that mean I don't cause the sun symbol to appear? I don't know. I think probably you don't. Okay, so then. The bones, uh, the first one doesn't move because he's within range. He's going to hit me. I mean, unless, do they move to try to hit two people at the same time? Because he can move four, so. right? He can go one, two, he can go here, or he can go here to hit two of us at the same time. You know what I mean? Yeah. The same thing with the other guy. Well, except for that they'll block each other. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, if they try to do that, then he's going to go one, two. Does he stop because you are you two are with the range, or does he go towards me because I have the lower initiative? I think he goes towards you because you have lower initiative. Yeah, because they focus first and then they move. So they're they're both focused on you. If it is a multi-target attack, it will move toward a position where its attack will hit its focused enemy and as many other enemies as possible. So they're both going to try to get to where they can hit you and other enemies. So one will end up between you and my vine. Yeah, and the other guy is just going to go here. Yeah. OK, so this guy attacks me uh, at plus 0 and whiffs. OK. It attacks your um, your guy for plus 1, so one point of damage on, on your guy, your summoned guy. OK. 
then the other guy comes forward and attacks me at plus zero and plus zero, so he does zero. Okay. And then the cultist moves two, one, two, onto the loot. Okay. Your turn. Okay. So I am uh, moving. Oh, wait. First, my guy is going to. No, you know what? He's going to stay put. And wait, is this guy the guy that we've been poisoning and shooting and stuff? Yeah. Okay, so then he's going to back up one and he's going to shoot this guy for three because of poison plus zero, but minus one for shield, right? Mm -hmm. So two points of damage. Okay. And then I am moving five um, and jumping. So one, two, three, four, five. And then I am summoning my two shadow wolves behind me. Like, oh wait, I guess one behind me and one next to me. One, two. But they can't do anything this turn, so. Um, so I guess that's my turn. Three, okay. two, three. And they have pierce, so they'll be good at these, at the um, skeletons, once they get to hit something. Right. Yeah, and that's my turn. So I have to do a short rest, or a long rest. Okay. Um, you know what? Never mind. I ended my turn. That's cheating to go back. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do a short rest. Oh, okay. I'm at 32. 55. Hey, the bones first. Uh, they're both going to shield up and heal themselves. So that one guy is going to remove the poison, I believe. Yeah, I think that's what that means. But they both have shield two now. An extra shield two on top of their shield one, or just shield two? I think just shield two. Otherwise, it would say plus two, right? I guess, yeah, that makes sense. OK, so they're both at shield two. Um, geez, that's interesting. The cultist is going to move and attack and then heal himself. But he's only moving one. Yeah, he won't be in range of anyone. So that's good. OK, so I'm going to whack. I'm going to uh, hit this guy with a stun. OK. And attack of two. Plus zero. Okay. 
zero points because of the two shield, but he's stunned. Okay. No, because he hasn't shielded yet. Or oh no, he shielded before you. Never mind. Okay. Um and then I'm gonna move. I guess. <laughs> One, two, here. Okay. And I, I need to do a short rest after that. Okay. Well, hmm. Maybe I should do a long rest. Are you going to be able to take out this uh, skeleton, you think? I think so. But, you know. I'm going to chance it with a long rest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that way I can heal myself. Okay. Um, and just in case you don't kill him, I'm, I'm actually, with the two, I'm going to move here instead. Okay. Good call. Because <laughs> he is shielded now, so. Yeah. All right, and, so the cultist is going to move one. one. Cultist moves one space. Okay. And that's My turn now? Yep. Okay. So first, this guy shoots the skeleton for two and poison for two and poison so he's just poisoned okay and then um my first wait a second okay so they're both gonna try for skeletons shoot um I was sort of hoping that I could move one of the guys out of the way, like move one of my wolves out of the way so that they could both hit something, but they use monster movement. So they're both gonna go for the skeletons. So he moves, I guess one and tries to kill this guy right here. He has attack of two and pierce and uh, pierce of two and plus one, so three points of damage to that guy. And then the other guy goes like, I guess one, two, and then is stuck there. Mm -hmm. So then I am going to, Ah, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack that same skeleton for three and immobilize. Um, so that's three minus one is two, so zero, but he's immobilized now. He's, he's stunned and immobilized. Stunned and immobilized, yep. Okay. Uh, I was hoping to actually hit him, but that's fine. And then um, I'm going to use my two summoned allies within two spaces can move. Um, so each of them moves uh, one. So my one guy is going to go like behind the cultist, and my other one is going to be next to this. Yeah, just like that. OK. And that's my turn. OK. Um, next round, and I'm doing a long rest, which may be really, really chancy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it will be okay, but I may need to do a long rest this next turn because I am starting to run very low on cards. So I have 13. Okay, you go first. Okay. So first, and they don't have two shield. They're back down to one shield, right? Yeah. Okay. I, well, hmm. Is it until the start of their next turn, or is it until the end of the round? For the round for shield. Okay, then they're back to one. But I don't know that that's the case. Let me see. That's what we said with mine. That is what we said with yours. Hmm. 
actually say okay well let's just keep it consistent okay yeah round it, it looks like it says most of them are round bonuses not turn bonuses okay so they're back down to one shield all right this guy is going to shoot the cultist for two and poison Ooh, i got that wound thing again plus one okay for three poison and wound one, two, three, poisoned and wounded. Okay. And then my first um, wolf oh. is going to hit that same guy for two and then uh, plus poison, so three. So three points, so that guy is now dead. Yay. Yay, indeed. Um, and then, actually, my other wolf guy tries to hit this skeleton for two plus zero, and he pierces, so two points of damage, so that guy is also dead. Wow. Awesome. And, <laughs> and then I'm going to move five. I'm going to go try to get this chest before we go into the next room. So okay. I'm moving five and jumping. One, two, three, four, five. I didn't quite get there. Sad. And I attack the air, I guess. And now I have to do a long rest. Okay. Um, the skeleton is moving three and attacking one, so he's going to move, uh, I guess, here to attack this guy? Yeah. Would it's... you rather he attack this guy or your wolf? Uh, that guy, not the wolf. Okay, so you go over is... there, attack your wolf for one plus zero. I okay. mean, not your wolf, your uh, whatever it is, spitting thing. My, my vine guy, he's dead, but that's fine. Okay. He helped us wipe out basically the whole first room. I think he can have a break. <laughs> yeah. Then I do my long rest. I gain two hit points. And I choose a card to ditch. I'm going to ditch that card. Okay. Oh, right. I did, I'm doing my long rest like way too early. <laughs> long rest. All these cards are good. Okay, we have the skeleton. Wait, what's our purpose anyways? To destroy the altar, right? Altar, yeah. All right, I'm not gonna bother with the skeleton. I'm just gonna start moving. Yeah, my wolves are gonna go after him anyway. I should probably heal myself. Yeah, you're still really low health. Yeah. Even with getting two points back. Okay, I've got 29. I have 99 because I'm long resting by the chest. Oh, yeah. Uh, 29. Which means your guys are going to go last. Yeah, that's fine, though. Okay, I'm moving. One, two, three. I'm just moving three spaces to here, to this loot, I guess. Oh, my dudes are in the way. 
Yeah, it's good. And then, I mean, I got Lou out of it. <laughs> I'm healing myself for three and causing a sun symbol to appear, a light, light symbol. Okay. And then that's my turn. The skeleton is going to move two and attack two. So he's going to move one on top of that loot, attack your wolf, um, drawing a plus one. So it hits your wolf for three. Oh, man. All right, that guy's dead. Bye-bye, wolf. OK, and now it's your wolf's turn. OK, my wolf moves up next to the skeleton, and it tries to hit the skeleton for two plus one. And he's got pierce, so the skeleton is now dead. OK. Dead. 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 And you do your long rest. And I do my long rest. Yep. And now it's the next round. You make a beeline to the end, I guess. Yep. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. What am I doing? Jeez. Okay. I've got 18. I have 13. I guess I have 13. Okay, you go first. Okay, so this guy, my Wolf guy goes three, one, two, three. I guess. Does he when there's no other monsters or does he just sit there? I think last time we decided they just sit there. Yeah, which really sucks. Are you sure you can't direct them? I can't. Okay, so he just sits there. I am moving one onto the chest and picking, getting the chest, the chest, which is number 73 which will undoubtedly be poisoned. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's a random item design. Woo! All right. Where's my pen? Do you have your deck handy? Uh, I think so, it's the blue ones, right? Um, I think so. Where are the blue ones? Oh, wait, here we go. I found them. I even had them in a little packet. Okay, and I'm supposed to just pick randomly from the deck, right? Am I supposed to shuffle it? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna pick this one. A chain mail hood. What number is it? 76. I guess it's not in this pile. Okay, so there's now chain mail hoods in the shop. Okay. While you're adjacent to three or more monsters, gain one shield. I do have to add um, negative one cards. Yeah. There's two of them, so we could both have one if we really, really wanted to. Okay, so I got the chest. And now I am... Summoning a slime spirit, I guess, next to me. Um, yeah, towards the door next to me. 
one, two. And that is my turn. I'm moving three. I might as well use this uh, jump wing shoes. Okay. Two, three, so I'm right there. Um, and then I am attacking the air. Okay. And I'm going to move, let's see. All right, so next round. Red, one. He has four health, three walking, only one hit though. Okay. Okay. I have 55. I got 23. Two, three, five, five, draw. Okay. I'm moving two, one, two. <laughs> okay. Attacking the air. Okay. I am, my guys aren't doing anything because the door is not open. She seems silly. That seems really silly, but whatever. Um, and then I am recovering up to four of my last cards. So I'm going to actually recover my wolves and then three out of the deck. And then, um, oh wait, that goes there. And then I am uh, making my slime guy move two towards the door. One, two. Okay. Um of here these three will do you're going back in there okay next round and i'm taking a long rest okay wait this next round you're taking a long rest uh-huh okay. so i've got 99 i am going to do This, I have 51, not that it matters. Okay, so um, my dude doesn't do anything, but now I am forcing him to do something. Um, so he's gonna move. You know what, he was supposed to move three last time. So he's gonna move another one and attacks nothing because he doesn't have anything to attack. And I'm gonna move five. One, two, three, four. It doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna move four. And that's my turn. Okay, and I'm doing long rest, so now it's the next round. Yep. I gain, I got two hit points. I gain my wing shield back. All right, I'm at nine hit points. This is, this is pretty good. Sweet. However, I'm starting to run out of cards. Yeah. Or How many do you have in your discard right now? Four. If you can get next to me, I can get you to recover a bunch of them. Okay. I can get you to recover two of them. Okay. That would be good because I used my um, stamina potion. I really need us to get to level four prosperity so that I can get that major stamina potion. Because mm -hmm. I can make you recover three of them, not on this turn, but the next turn if you want. Okay, because I was going to try to like go in the door so that we can like get in there. Okay. But then I was probably going to try to do. Hold on, what do I have in here? Yeah, then I was probably going to try to do a long rest so that I can pick what I go into that final fight with. Okay, I think this will work. All right, um, I've got 57. I have 25.
All right, you first. Okay, I am, my guy is not doing anything. I'm going one, two into the doorway. So I think we have some stuff to read. And also, oh, okay, just one guy. That's not bad. It's a nice guy, but nice guy. Um, not a nice guy, an ice guy. And then the altar has six plus characters times level. Level is one, characters is two. Eight hit points. Eight hit points. That's okay. not bad. As quickly as you can, you escape the rising storm of ice to find some semblance of shelter in the cave. With every step, the angry wind bites deeper. There are more enemies in the cave, of course, but you are more concerned about the glowing white orb behind the crystalline demons. The pieces all start to fall into place. They're controlling the weather here, blocking your passage through the peak. If you can destroy the orb, you hope the punishing weather will subside. Okay. This is eight points, and this ice dude, uh, ice dude. has 10 hit points and retaliate. Um, he's gonna immobilize, kill himself. You're not in range. <laughs> he's gonna not do anything this turn. Okay. Um, uh, then I'm going to attack him for two at range three. Plus two, attack him for four at range three. Wow. One, two, three, four. And that is my turn. And I need to take a long rest at this point. Oh, so if you do, then me giving you some cards back doesn't help? No, I guess it doesn't. I mean, unless you can give me cards back on my next turn, I have to do a long rest. So unless you give me cards back right now. So no. that would give me one more turn. That's actually, that's not a bad idea. I can't give you cards back now. Oh, I you... card. Gotcha. I the following turn, but you won't have cards in your discard the following turn. Not, uh, well, unless not... I go after you, if I go after you, then you'll have those two cards. Okay. I'll try to go like early. All right, well, I'm going to Are you hurt at all? Nope. All right, healing myself for three. <laughs> and causing a sun symbol to appear. And then I'm going to move two to be right next to you. And then it's now the next round. Okay, so I'm going to do a short rest so that I can go on the next round and then. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So you're going to do a short rest and you're going to try to go earlier so that I can make you draw your cards back. Yes. Should I like make a run for the altar? Probably. Yeah, I guess so. I don't have very many cards, and so like, um, yeah, we're gonna need it. Let's. We should focus fire on the altar. Okay. I have thirteen then. I've got twenty nine. Um, and it's got 78. It's going to move and attack. Uh, Jason, see you first. Okay. You're looking away first. Uh, my slime guy moves three. One, two, three. Yeah, three. The other side of him to distract him. And then he's going to try to hit him for one and muddle. Times two. He hits him for two and muddles him. Muddled. Um, it's too retaliate. Oh, 
but he's got two shields, so. All right, excellent. And then I am going to move four, one, two, three, four into the corner. And I am going to attack the altar for two, range three plus zero. So I attack the, the altar is now down to six. Okay. And that is my turn. Okay. Um, I am moving four as well. One, two, three, four to be right next to you. And then causing you to recover two of your cards. Sweet. Or actually, if there are three, then you get to recover three because there's a sun symbol in play. Yes. Because I had to short rest, there's only two. Okay. Um, all right. And the ice demon is, I guess, going to attack the slime guy. Um, the model that draws a plus one and a minus one. So it's attack of two on a slime guy. Slime guy has two shields, so nothing happens. But he also causes, I mean, it, this is always in play, but the, the frost symbol, you know, he double, he, he makes it another frost symbol or whatever. I don't know. Okay. Um, okay, now it's the next turn. Cool. Um, I have 65. I have 25. Okay, you first, then the frost guy. Okay. It's just going to attack the slime. Um, okay. Um, oh, he's already muddled. Whatever. Um, all attacks targeting me and all summoned allies gain disadvantage this round. And uh, that makes a dark... And then I'm attacking the, oh, I was supposed to, I got to shuffle, but I'm going to attack the altar for two, range three again. Okay. And don't forget your slime guy has to go too. Oh yeah, I forgot about the slime guy. Okay, so, so pretend like I did that, that disadvantage thing after the slime guy went. Okay, so the slime guy hits, Tries to hit for one and muddle again, of course, plus zero. So he hits the the frost demon for one. And then I did the thing and did dark. And now I'm attacking for two, the altar, and I whiffed. So that was terrible. Okay. Um, the frost demon attacks a slime and whiffs. Okay. I got to shuffle again. I attack the frost demon for four times two. Eight. You, you attack the frost demon? Yeah. Okay. So he's dead. He's dead. And because he's dead, he doesn't get to retaliate against me. Yes. Um, how much does the altar have? It is down to, I whiffed, so it's down to six. I will, I'm gonna attack the altar too. I've got an attack five, range three thing. Okay. Um, it causes a sun symbol and I draw a plus one. So six points on the altar. Okay, you killed it. The altar is dead. All right, we finished. And I still have three cards in my hand. So you know what's ridiculous? I picked this pacifist one because I thought that it was going to be easier than the other one. As it turns out, the other one, I would have, I would have gotten it. But the pacifist one, I didn't get because I went on a rampage and killed lots of skeletons. <laughs> Mine was kill at least one elite, and I did. Good job. You keep getting the check marks, and I keep not getting the check marks. Um, okay, pieces of the shattered orb fall to the snowy floor along with the corpses of the enemies who stood in your way. The screeching of the wind outside the cave lessens to a faint murmur. 
you exit to see clear skies above you and a path to the peak. We've uh, unlocked 46. At this altitude, without a cloud in sight, you find yourself looking out over the horizon, marveling at the wondrous expanse of mountains and the forests and plains beyond them. You can even see the faint outline of Gloomhaven in a distance. Looking to the west, your curiosity is piqued by a lake high in the mountains and a small stone structure resting at its edge. You make a note of the building. It might be worth investigating in the future. We've also unlocked 15. We've achieved, uh, we have a party achievement across the divide and we each get 10 experience points. Yay. So six were completing the thing, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. Hold on, let me look at the back. Uh, we get, yep, six for completing the thing. And then 10. And then how many did I get? Yeah, I got 5, 11, 21. And then I get, gosh, two whole gold. Man, I am rich now. I get eight. <laughs> I am so bad at collecting gold. But that's okay. Yeah, okay, you're a team player. <laughs> <laughs> Not getting perks. I'm getting lots of experience, though. I am only 14 experience points away from level five now so oh really gonna, that's good yeah because i get experience every time i summon something i get experience every time i use one of those like make them go again cards and i did way better with my uh card management today so that's good all right i think i need to buy like uh oh wait i don't have any money i only have 22. <laughs> I have seven, so you've got more money than me. What are you going to buy? I wanted, like, the goggles so that, you know. Oh, advantage, yeah. That was important, I wouldn't whiff. <laughs> <laughs> or armor of some sort, because I do get, keep getting hit, you know? Yeah, you do keep getting hit. You need some, like, I don't know what. Like a shield or something. I don't know. Yeah. Ooh. Don't throw that on the floor. I mean, I had to get rid of my, um, I had to get rid of my weapon. So I'm just running around with no weapons now. Mm -hmm. like 14, uh, 46 and 15. You need this amulet of life thing. During your turn, perform a heal one self action. And it's usable over and over. And we do have Minus four price modifiers, so do keep that in mind. Fifteen is the shrine of strength. That was one we had the option to get before, I think. Like we were given the option of like ultimate cosmic power or hmm. Yeah, uh, we chose to unlock, what did we choose to unlock? I don't know, Eight, 20. We chose to unlock the Necromancer's Sanctum instead of, we, we chose to move on with the main quest rather than doing the side quest for strength. Okay, well now we have it again. Or we could do the Nightmare Peak. Yes, or we could go back to the slave pens and be sad again. Yeah. Ooh, the Nightmare Peak is a boss one. Mm. Or did you level up? You're, um, you're very close to leveling up, you said. I'm really close to leveling up. We could take the side mission to try to get you to level up before we tackle the boss. That's probably a good plan, because... Um, I don't know what the what the cards are on the next level, but my level four card that I got for leveling up this last time 
I used it like every other turn this time. Although I think the main issue with the slave pens one wasn't necessarily that we were low level, it's that we couldn't keep that guy under control. Mm -hmm. He was just like charging in there with his, but didn't hit anything with his sword. Yeah, that guy was terrible. <laughs> As always, when we talk about uh, escort quests, it's always terrible. He tells you what they I feel like it would have been okay if we had a four person party. Because then at least we would have blocked some of the spaces that he could have gone into, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, he could walk through us. That was like half the problem is that he, you can walk through allies. I know, but there was, there were so many doors and stuff like that. I feel like we could have, we could have prevented him from going, you know, a couple of spaces or something at least. Yeah. Yeah, but then the monsters would have been a lot harder too. So. That's true, yeah, that is true. Or more of them, I guess. But I think we're doing better. Yeah, that one, uh, it was worrying at first, but then it turned in, it turned really easy at the end. Yeah, I feel like the whole battle, most of it was just getting across the bridge in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> and then once you get in there, you're like, eh, whatever. <laughs> it was interesting, though, because at the beginning, I was like, okay, I've got all these cards that I could play, that, but I don't want to burn them so early in the scenario, you know? Yeah, yeah um, I was save stuff. And then we ended up not needing any of it. Yeah, but I've got, like, I've got some really powerful ones that I've just I'm always super wary of using. <laughs> that was my problem with the Tinkerer, was that there was like lots of great stuff, but if I burned them too early, like with the summons, the summons are a little bit better in a lot of ways because I can use them again once they've been burned because I have that one really powerful card that lets me retrieve lost cards. Mm -hmm. But I only get to do that once, so I have to like wait until there's no other hope. But this time I only used, I might have to revisit my deck because some of the cards seem super useful and some of the cards seem less useful. Like the vine shooter hasn't been useful until today and then today he was like doing good stuff, so. Mm. And then I never used that war pig. <laughs> my iron pig or whatever it's called what is it called yeah you mean the one that explodes no but i never used the living bomb either he's just like a okay. vaguely useless what is it oh i don't i don't i'm not carrying around the war pig anymore i gave up on the war pig but yeah the living bomb i feel like i need to trade that one out because that one is it's a living bomb that it on death it does do a, attack three and um, target all enemies within range two. So like that would be useful, except it doesn't ever seem to be useful. That's my area of effect guy. I don't know. And this one, the top of the card is not useful at all. It's just not. The problem is they can't, yeah, they can't move on the turn you summon them. Yeah. So you, well, have to, I you have to basically in wait until the end of, like, you have to be last, summon it, and then go first, right? Pretty much. And yeah. then, which, which worked out a couple of times, but um, there's also, so those control cards that I am slowly accumulating they work out pretty well because they um, they let me move it even on its summoned turn. Mm -hmm. so that's been good, but right. um, and you can, and you, yeah. can do, you can override their monster AI. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then I get to control them. But um, I don't know. Right now, I think I'm like kind of in between builds. There's like a there's a control build supposedly. I, I haven't actually seen what the control build is and what the summon build is, but like the people talk about those two different builds. 
but then they don't say like what cards to get. They're just like, if you like control or if you like summoning. So I think I've got like a between build. I've got like half control, half summoning, and I should probably like pick my two favorite summons and then just control them. Yeah. I think that works out better. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I mean, one of the characters in the prequel is named Void Warden. Mm -hmm. And um, definitely a control build, like control enemies build. Oh, that's cool. But a lot of the cards that control enemies are lost cards. Oh, uh, so. yeah. See, my control ones are just spammable. Spam, spam. Yeah. But they're really powerful. It's like have one enemy, like move three spaces and then shoot another enemy for three damage. And then it itself takes as much damage as it did. I mean, that's awesome, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, so it has a bunch of cards like that. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. There's family drama happening. Um, yeah, that sounds awesome. I think the other one that I was playing with is called a Demolitionist. He's pretty cool, too. He, like, um, is all steampunky. So we'd say he's a, um, the same race as your Tinkerer. Oh, cool. Um, but he's a melee damage dealer. And like, oh. have him, um, like rush up to something and then like punch it and push it back. And he can create traps. So, oh. you know, his, his play style is like rush in, create a bunch of traps, you know, punch people into the traps and stuff. <laughs> it's really fun. <laughs> Uh, are those classes in Gloomhaven too? Do you know, or are they like specific to the prequel? You can use them in the in the in the main game. There's rules for like uh, how to use the new characters in in the main game. Oh, cool! That's really cool. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm interested to see some of these other characters in Gloomhaven too, but I am so far away from getting to retire, which is probably not a bad thing since I did just retire. I'm, I'm, yeah, I mean, I'm looking at the requirements for this, like, geez, whoo-wee. <laughs> That's going to take a while. Yeah, mine's going to take a really long time. I'm about a quarter to the goal of mine. I am 0% on the way to mine. Okay, then. Yeah, I'm going to be this character forever. <laughs> Which is fine. It's totally fine. Yeah. If I, can, if I can get her set up the way I want her, it, she's going to be great. But it's the getting her set up the way I want her that's going to take some time because I have no money. <laughs> I have great cards and zero money. And actually, if I play control build, then I could just use my character to like zoom around and loot things after controlling. Yeah, that's totally the way I should do it. Sorry. <laughs> He's waving at you. Uh, we'll help that you with that later. Animal Crossing needs to update. Oh, we can. I mean, we can end. Um, <laughs> When do you want to meet up again? Do we want to record when we're meeting up again? Probably not. I'm going to stop recording. <laughs> Wait. <laughs>